money and banking money definition money is used by all for payment of goods and services the most important feature of money is that it must be generally acceptable to all members in the society which uses it money has been generally defined as anything which is commonly used and generally accepted as a means of exchange and measure of value functions of money the four important functions of money are a medium of exchange b measure of value c standard of deferred payments and store of value medium of exchange money serves as a medium through which all goods are exchanged one for another this is the main function of money this removes the difficulties involved in the barter system of exchanging goods for goods measure of value the value of goods and services are measured in money value of goods and services expressed in money is called price money is the standard of measuring value just as the meter in the standard measure of length standard of deferred payments money often represents a stable medium in which loans can be taken and repaid it is also important for debts to be measured in terms of a stable store of value money fulfills this all borrowings and lending contracts are made in money store of value money acts as a store of value money is saved for future payments money can be kept for long periods of time without deterioration or wastage classification of money a legal tender money legal tender money is the type of money which has legal sanction if that no one can refuse to accept it as a means of payment everyone within the country must accept it money issued by reserve bank of india if that currency is a legal tender money for us optional money optional money has no legal sanction behind it but it will be accepted on faith on trust all forms of checks drafts bonds debentures share and such others are optional money Nowadays, credit cards issued by various banks also come under optional money. All these are known as near money if that they resemble money and act as money. Check. Check is an order issued by a depositor to a bank to pay a certain amount to the person specified against the deposits. Checks will be honored only if the depositor has sufficient money in his account. Draft. Drafts are issued by banks after receiving the money. and the necessary commission bank issues drafts to persons or organizations as described by the party drafts are preferable to checks as payments are set time and the amount is prepaid by the party bond bond is a paper document that promises to pay the bearer a fixed amount of money with interest after a specific period as bonds can be pledged as security in a bank to obtain loan it can be regarded as one type of money debentures debentures are similar to bonds these are issued by companies and organizations and also carry a fixed rate of interest they can be sold to others in need of money and a loan can be obtained by pledging them bank cards almost all banks introduced bank cards in the recent years to the selected customers banks issues cards the persons possessing the card can use it for payment of bills in notified shops and establishment thus bank will be a guarantee for the amount and bank cards are regarded as paper money bill of exchange when a seller dispatches goods to a buyer he sends the bill to the buyer by signing it and asking the buyer to pay the amount within a specified period say 2 months the buyer accepts the goods and agrees for it and sends it to the seller by properly affixing his signature and takes the goods this is known as bill of exchange hundis bills of exchange written in regional languages national languages are known as hundis these were popular in olden days where money markets were unorganized even now in some places they are in practice hundi means to collect reserve bank of india central bank is the bank on which all the other banks depend for their running it is also known as bankers bank In India Reserve Bank is the central bank it is owned by the government of India the main objective of the Reserve Bank of India is to formulate and administer the monetary policy
Commercial Banks A commercial bank is an organized financial institution which accepts deposits from the public and lends money to industry, trade, agriculture and consumers etc. and renders a number of other services useful to its customers. The main objectives of a commercial bank are 1. Mobilization of deposits from people and institutions and 2. Extension of credit if they are granting loans and advances for the needy with a view to earning a profit. To achieve its objectives, the commercial banks mainly accept deposits and advance loans. Hence, the two important functions of a commercial bank are acceptance of deposits and creation of credit. Cooperative Rural Banks The main objective of Cooperative Rural Bank is to provide finances to meet the needs of farmers under three categories on the basis of time. They are 1. Short-term credit, 2. Medium-term credit, and 3. Long-term credit. The short-term credit loans are required for day-to-day -day purposes like purchase of seeds, fertilizers, and pesticides, etc. for an harvest or for an year. Medium-term loans are generally required for 1 to 5 years to purchase cattle and other agricultural implements. Long-term loans are required for the purchase of capital equipment like tractors, oil engines, electric motors, etc. or for repayment of old debts or to make permanent improvements on land ranging from 5 to 10 years. Primary Agricultural Cooperative Credit Societies As the lowest tier of the cooperative credit structure, they are in direct touch with the people and act as ultimate dispensers of credit to the rural people. They mainly advance to the weaker sections, particularly small and marginal farmers. Normally, a village or in some cases, a group of villages will have such a society. District Central Cooperative Banks They are also known as Cooperative Central Banks. These are federations of primary agricultural credit societies in a specified area. Their main task is to lend to primary agricultural credit societies. They act as intermediaries between the state cooperative bank and primary agricultural credit societies. They also mobilize deposits from general public. State Cooperative Banks this bank also known as the Apex Bank. From the apex of the cooperative credit structure in each state, it finances and controls the working of central banks in the state. It serves as a link between RBI and NABARD, NABARD, from which it borrows on the one hand and CCBs and PACs to which it finances on the other. Primary Land Development Banks The main task of PLDVs is to grant long-term credit to rural people. They are organized mostly at district level. They obtain money from SLBDs and from the government. State Land Development Banks They are organized at state level and their main task is to provide financial assistance to PLDBs. Regional Rural Banks These are mainly regionally based and rural oriented banks operating in one or two districts. Each RRB is sponsored by a commercial bank which provides assistance relating to to finance and management.